Good day, everyone. My name is Tika Landima, and welcome to today's discussion for Proposing Communication. Hi, I'm Melanie Ulian, and today's topic will be about the SOGI Bill. The Sexual Orientation and the Gender Inequality Expression, or SOGI Bill, also known as the Anti-Discrimination Bill, has become one of the top about topics in the previous months only. This will be the first chance that we'll see both parties for and against the bill discuss their respective views on this controversial topic on stage. These are the rules. Each member of the both party list will get a chance to state their twist when the question is applicable to them. A member can make a rebuttal or a counter argument only when the speaker is done with their statement. Personal attacks or any statements made by undermine a person Reputation strictly prohibited in this discussion. With that being said, let's get on with the introduction. Speaking in favor of Bill R. by Ron Ramlet Basa, an active member of the LGBTQA community, Joshua Ronquillo, a representative of Iglesia Filipina, Independiente, or the Aglipayan Church, and Attorney Christian Delgado, lawyer of the New Lum Discrimination Group. Speaking against the bill are Dominic Pasamonte, a former member of LGBTQA community, Stephanie Pauline Moiko, as a representative of Christian Coalition Movement, and attorney Danilo Bolivar Jr., lawyer of the religious group Agape de Cristo. Now then, let's open the discussion with the following question. What is the SOGI bill? Anti-discrimination based on sexual orientation and gender identity and expression. Actually, this... This is the original name of the bill for the longest time, has been called, in short, anti-discrimination. The anti-discrimination bill is simply identifying the different situations of discrimination at the workplace, sa mga paaralan, sa pagtanggap ng mga servisyo sa pamahalaan, at sa pag-access sa ng commercial and public establishment yung pag-apply ng professional license, licenses, and it's actually for everyone because everyone has sexual orientation and gender identity. Yun ang nakakalimutan ng mga maraming tao na pag narinig na lang SOGI ay para, para lang sa LGBT. Pero this bill is for everyone really. If you get to be discriminated because you're straight, you can use this bill. Thank you, Attorney Delgado, for the opening statement. But to clarify, what will be the implement of this bill mean to the LGBTQ community? Magiging pantay-pantay ang lahat at mawawala ang diskriminasyon sa amin. At maririnig ang boses namin sa mga gobyerno. Um, pinili nila kasing maging ganun, tapos hindi naman equality and acceptance yung gusto nila. Gusto nila a special treatment. Paano naman yung iba? Pinili naman nila maging ganyan sa pamumuhay nila. Kaya kailangan, hindi na nila kailangan ng anti-discrimination kasi nakapasok na ito sa ibang bill. Hindi nila kailangan ng equality at acceptance. Kaya kung gusto nila ay special treatment. But isn't it anti-discrimination already a part of human rights? Meron ng anti-discrimination law sa Pilipinas. Ngunit merong loopholes ito na nagagamit laban sa LGBT. Ito ay hindi batas ng, isang, batas ng klase o class legislation. Ito ay karapatang pantao sa buong mundo na sumasaklaw. Sumasaklaw din sa mga tiyak na grupo tulad ng mga bata at mga taong may kapansanan. Ngunit ito ay hindi patatawag na batas ng klase o class legislation. Is it not fair for the people of the Philippines the SOGI bill proposes only for the members of LGBT community? What about the non-members? There is no need to pass these proposed bills given that there are already many system laws that safeguard the rights of every citizen against discrimination. There are several, several laws that are existing now. For example, the 1987 Constitution, Constitution of the Republic of the Philippines and the Republic Act No. 7877, Anti-Sexual Harassment of, the, of 1995. There are victims of discrimination because they are fat, but do we need an anti-abuse discrimination act? These existing laws ensure that any form of discrimination is avoided. There is no need for additional laws in, in this regard. Ang SOGI bill ay ginagawa ito para maging equal lahat ng tao because God made us all equal. By that logic, ang tao dapat itratong isa't isa ay quality. 
equally. Kaya itinutupad ang bill na ito dahil may nagkita ang pagkukulang ang community sa Senado. God is love. Kaya lahat ng tao pwedeng magmahalan regardless kung anong orientation meron man sila. Oo nga. Ayon nga sa Biblia, pinagbabawal din ang pagkain ng shellfish. Katulad ng plums, talaba, or green shells. Kaya huwag ka na kumain na. Respetuhin natin ang iba't ibang paniniwala. Pero hindi dapat nakabase ang batas sa reliyon. Ang batas natin ay hangon sa karapatang katao at sa ikabubuti ng marami. Oo, tama ka na sinasabi mo na God is love. Pero hindi naman yun yung gustong sabihin sa Biblia. Ang pag sinasabi natin pagmamahal, ang pag, gustong sabihin nito ang pagrespeto. Kasi ang Soji Bill, makikita natin na do maganda tong makita sa mata ng mga tag, sa LGBT na sinasabi na mawawala ng respeto. Ang problema dito is, muna-una, sinabi nga ng ano natin na meron tong special treatment para sa kanya. Ang pagiging delikado dito regarding sa law na to is, it encourages people to to act upon their feelings without knowing that there are repercussions in regards to how they are. There are consequences. Sinasabi nga sa Biblia na though everything is permissible, not everything is beneficial. Ibig sabihin ba, porque kaya mong kainin ang isang kandila, kakainin mo? Hindi. Dahil nakita natin doon na wala tayong mag- mag- benefit regarding dito. Ang basihan natin sa gender is is yung ating katawan. Hindi ito regarding sa sa psychological factor na kinoconsider natin. It's isa tong biological factor kasi ang mga genders natin, regardless kung kung sa tingin niyo hindi niyo katanggap-tanggap, isang regalo to sa Panginoon. And kung the fact na na pinapalit ang mga identity mo, sexual identity mo dahil ano, nararamdaman mo na iba ka sa anuman meron ka ngayon. Hindi ba parang iniinsulto natin ng Dios dito? Na dahil I feel offended na magagawa ko ng batas para lang ma-validate yung feeling ko kagad ko. Sinasabi nyo na kailangan namin matutunan magrespeto sa inyo. Pero kayo mismo hindi nyo kaya i-accept ang sarili nyo eh. Sinasabi nyo, respect us but you don't have the decency to respect yourself. So nasan doon ang equality? Nasan doon ang, nasan doon ang justicia? And especially, ininsulto nyo ang Diyos. Hinihingi nyo respeto kayo, kayo nga hindi nyo nare-respeto ang Kristo namin eh. Di ba ano yun? Unfair yun? What discrimination does the LGBTQA community experience, so to speak? Yun nga, yung hindi kami nare-respeto ang mga ibang tao. At ginagawa kami kalokohan ng katatawanan ng mga iba. Lahat naman tayo nararanasan ng discrimination. Tinanggap naman tayo lahat. Expressing yourself is okay. Being different is okay. Being true to yourself is okay. Demanding for equality and rights is okay, but remember, your rights and privileges are limited, by the way. They obstruct with the rights of others. Deal with it. You decide to live that way. Deal with it. Looks like that's all the time we'll be having for today's discussion. For such a sensitive topic, we want to remind the audience that the goal of this discussion was to inform and to clear up any misconceptions that may have come to mind during the talk. Indeed, the opinionated no harm was meant by the any of statement made the members present. Once again, I'm Mika Lendiman. And I am Melody Thank you and good day. Goodbye.